So why is this stuff important? Little things happen on campus every single day, but occasionally, really big things happen too. The standard response protocol is based on four actions, lock out, lock down, evacuate, shelter. A lockout is when a threat is outside the building. We first secure the perimeter by locking the outside doors, but inside, things continue business as usual. A lockdown is much more serious. That's when the threat is inside the building. Get in your classroom, lock the doors, turn off the lights, and get out of sight as quickly as possible. Prepare to evade or defend against the threat. There are two ways to think about evacuation. If you see a safe exit out of the building, you have permission to take it. Now, if you're involved in a police evacuation, it's going to feel and look a little bit different. It might be really, really intense. Police! Show me your hands! Police! Let me see your hands! Hands up! Do not move! Hands up! Single file at the door! Hands on your head! Hands on your head! Single file! Move! Move! Hands on your head! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! With shelter, you'll receive a mass notification that will identify the hazard and the safety strategy. Making sure you receive timely notifications is really important. The best way to do this is first to make sure that you know and sign up for your school's mass notification program, and secondly, make sure you keep your information up to date. So why is knowing about the standard response protocol important? My name is Christina Anderson and I'm one of the survivors from the Virginia Tech school shooting. I was shot three times in 2007. And one of the main things I learned from that experience is that you should always, always take accountability for your personal safety and preparedness and know what to do in case of an emergency.